Why are they- wait, they're moving. Oh, they sway side to side. They're not moving towards me. Oh. Oh! I thought that it comes back, dude. Oh my gosh. So we can't attack them? You can't. I do no damage. How am I gonna get a two? Oh, we need to use the boxes, don't we? Wait. It's two motions left, two motions right. If I block your path with this. Ah! Does that help? It's like Cross the Road, they're dancing. <laughs> Something like that. Can you walk on the path in front of the sign? Oh my gosh, you can! Well, that, that answers my question. <laughs> That's the solution. Yeah, because that was just looking impossible, man. Oh, he doesn't walk that far. Okay. There we go. Okay, that was the answer. So, yeah, it was impossible. It seemed impossible. It was impossible. <laughs> you just had to walk to the side there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the gray tiles, that was the answer. This was once a midway loading point for freight trains. Goods going to the capital were loaded onto trains here. Now its operation has stopped due to the fall of the capital. Oh, okay. And now there's insect eggs there, too. Gross. Railroad switch. Yeah, what do you know? I can reach the switch. Alright, let's go down. What? Oh. What are those? Little worms. Don't tell me this is a dead end. Actually, wait, yeah, this is a dead end, isn't it? We can't push those boxes. I don't want to fall here yet. Someone hurry up and save me! To die being eaten by bugs. It is so shameful. Wait, those worms, they might do something. Give him a moment. So... Burrow, lunge. Burrow, lunge. Nice! Burrow, lunge. Can we attack them? Burrow, lunge. I thought I could attack it! I guess we're just running, man. See, we seem to be just running the whole time. Okay. Those beetles are blocking the exit. I need a crate. There's my crate. We gotta maneuver around these things. They're actually following me. How do I get around this guy? If you can't attack them... I mean, it's just like... I know what these bugs are now, and I know where the villagers have gone. Well, I mean, the villagers are grabbed by the bugs, right? I recognize this gross, sticky bug. You do? This bug can wrap other bugs into eggs. <gasps> You're telling me that the eggs have the villagers inside of them? And that bug on the ground puts the villagers into the eggs? Holy crap! 
This bug can wrap other bugs into eggs, and then transform them into insects of its own species. That's disgusting. The insect should still be this way after mutating. The mutation won't change the insect's nature. Goodness. So then these eggs on the ground are from insects turning villagers into eggs. Did all the villagers turn into bugs? Holy crap, Wigglies. Holy crap, okay. It's like Starbound. It's a lot darker than Starbound. Poop it, thank you for the I love you. Appreciate it. I need to get a crate over there, but how? <sighs> Those guys are blocking the exit. Hmm, I think I see a way. <gasps> oh! Oh boy. What's he doing? So that's... One of the citizens that got turned... Into a bug. Oh my goodness, we really should choose a path where this thing doesn't... Oh, I can kill them, though. I can kill them. Alright, that's good. Finally, something I can kill. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, we got out. I might need this guy to clear up the field for me a little bit, this worm. He kind of cute, though, the bug, I guess. I don't know if it's... Well, I don't see any other option. Here. I'm pretty sure I need to clear up the field a little bit. So make sure that thing doesn't destroy the box or we lose. Shoot. This is the only box I could use, I think, unless I can get him to break the really hard one. I don't know how I'd even lure him to the really hard one. No, 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 no! Okay. Don't break that box, don't break that box. solution, but it's going to take time. They're both ready to attack. I have to move. The worm is top right, right? Okay. Kill this one and go down then. Oh, no, no, he's not burrowed yet. Okay. Then kill the top one too. All right. Kite this guy up top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that's enough time. And actually, since that bug broke some of those eggs, that makes this a little easier. Just make sure we don't lose this crate. I need it. I was thinking of pushing this to the left. I think I'm actually going to push it down first. To get it as far out of the way as possible. Minimize the likelihood that the worm intercepts it. I think we should... I don't think we can commit to this. Loop around one more time, and then we'll push them out of the way. Okay, okay, okay.
many times those guys move to the right? Okay, perfect. I got it. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any secrets. I think we should just go. Fire! Oh yeah, because right, they were setting the fire. Starting the fire, but they started at night. What's that one at the bottom? It's fused with something. The blaze stings in the eyes. That straw was lit up, alright. This blaze attracted light-loving insects, like mosquitoes. Did they forget to put out the fire at night? Is anyone there? Hurry, answer me. Don't come over! Don't come over! I don't want! I don't want to become a puppet of parasites! Ugh. That guy over there. Quick, come over here. Don't just stand there. Oh, it's behind him. <gasps> don't! Don't! Let me go! The exit is just to the right. Just a bit more. Back is soaked. Cold sweat all over my body. I have to survive. Goodness gracious, man. So it's that fast. They just let jump onto them, latch onto them, and boom, they have control. That's terrifying. Alright, well, we got a worm. Is this really gonna be that hard? Wait, they could just go through the hard crates. Oh, it burned from the fire. These mutated earthworms seem to fear flames. I can lead them to the flames and destroy them. Ah, okay. Handy. Sorry, bud. It's too late for you. I can't help you. I have no time for this now. Beer mug. Wait, I remember this place. Chad, do you remember this place? There were the two people sleeping in front, remember? They became those eggs. Oh my goodness, dude. It's like a furry version of Dead Space. Oh, geez. Okay. Danger warning signs. Oh, is that it? At last, made it out alive. It seems that there's only me left now. No one else escaped. Is that good luck or bad luck? However, it seems all pointless. Oh my gosh. Even outside the village, it's like this. That's terrible. Now where should I go? The village has already been destroyed by insects. The road to West City is so long. Even the trains will only arrive in a day. I can't make it there. Alone and helpless, no water or food. So yeah, that's why we didn't have any food and water in the forest. I remember Silver Wolf was suspecting us of being an adventure killer. The reason isn't that because we didn't come properly prepared for our adventure, it's because we weren't even planning on an adventure. And that's why it was involuntary, why we were forced to go. Because our village was overrun by these mutated insects. We had to evacuate. There was nowhere to go but forward. Alone and helpless, no water or food. How long can one survive? Is it still going to end after all? Even though I escaped fighting for my life, there is no place I could go to. I'm not some survival expert. I'm just an ordinary person, nothing more. Am I really just destined to die here? No matter where I go, the end is one and the same. Aww. The whole world is slowly withering away. And what use is escaping to other places? In the end, my fate is destined anyway. The beast destroyed all hope. The people in other towns can't save themselves either. The food and water they depend on for survival are drying up. In such a world, it's the same wherever you escape to. Since I'm destined to die off as a nobody, then why not push on into the forest? I want to see what the beast looks like. I know well that I can't save the world, but I don't want to die so silently. I don't want to be eaten by insects or turn into an insect. The time I lived was already miserable enough. At least let me die with dignity. Dying from exhaustion on the escape. Dying from poisoning while drinking foul water. Having no food stuff and starving to death. It's a shame to die like that. Then let's go. Into the forest. I would rather die fighting back. Spectacularly. And then go and welcome death. I wrote the novel of a lifetime. I should seek an ending I'm content with. Wow. I respect it and draw a beautiful conclusion for my story. If you're gonna die anyway, at least die trying, right? I'm gonna try to go to the right first and see what happens. 
Alright, so that furry got turned into a bug. Which is bad. Okay, he's burned. Come here. Oh, you scared me! What? Where did that worm come from? Clearly I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Holy crap, that actually scared me. Pardon me, I'm getting warmed up. Where was the other one? Oh, I see it, I see it. Okay, it's dead, it's dead. That one's dead too. Alright, I think we got all the wormies, right? Don't scare me like that, bro. <laughs> alright, 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 we got all the wormies. <sighs> now we're scaredy dragon. So yeah, we tried to go to the right. Something happened. Hold on. Exclamation mark. Right, okay. Doesn't that look like the forest to the right? I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I think that is the forest. Okay, so hold up. So what's down here? This is the road to the western wilderness. Then a few hundred kilometers away is West City. I can't walk the way there. Ah, so you can't even go down. Okay, okay. So this is the right way. You're supposed to go here. All right. Okay, we need to burn them. Burn the bugs. Burn the burn the bugs. Honestly, I don't even want to be here. Let's go back. Do I have any? I don't want to get surrounded, you know. Hold them to this fire. Where's the other one? Wait, I only see two. Where's the third one? Where's the third one? There were three bugs. Where's the other one? Bro, I killed two. Where's the third bug? I'm scared. I don't know where it is. What happened to the third bug? It just went invis. What the heck? It poofed. There were four of them. One died early. There were three chasing me and one vanished. I only killed two. What happened? What happened to the other one? Oh, okay. All right, whatever. Let's go to the forest. More bugs. Oh! I was almost done for. Man, that bug almost got me. It snuck up on me. Luckily, I don't wear shoes. Wait, so like... I guess I could feel it coming through the soil because I don't wear shoes? This thing churns around in the mud under my feet. Oh... You can't sense this guy if you wear shoes. I was about to say... So that's why my guy's not wearing shoes, but I, I'm... That's a coincidence. He didn't not wear shoes planning for this. He's saying, good thing I don't wear shoes. Okay, so now I'm cornered. Oh, he's actually intentionally blocking my path. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's just stay here. Kill this one. Cool. This actually isn't pretty... Wait. Maybe before we kill it, we should first make sure we don't need them. What if we need them for something? This would be really awkward. Uh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Wait, don't die yet. Don't die yet. Don't die yet. I might actually need you. No, I don't think I do, actually. Why are these holes up here? As if I could slide a box in. Alright, 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 alright. Now let's go. There's something in the ground under my feet. You can't use the same trick twice. Ha! Pro pause, he's outmaneuvered you. You can't numb me. But how do I get through here now? Is there another earthquake? What's going on? Uh-oh. <gasps> what? I would rather it be an earthquake. Yeah, me too. Can anyone save me? The mutant earthworm. Oh my goodness. Okay. To think that it's just earthworms that are becoming so dangerous, man. Scary. I'm not gonna get numbed. Okay. It's four health. One. We want to lure him to the fire, right? Oh, shoot, of course he has minions. I don't know if we should try swinging at him. He doesn't care about the fire! He doesn't care about the fire. I'm in trouble. I'm dead. I'm super dead. I'm super dead. Oh, 
Wait, he stops moving though. He doesn't follow me when he like comes out of the ground. I guess I have to swing at him with my sword. But he doesn't... Hmm. That means he needs to be ahead of me? How would that even work? I don't know. But hey, at least I survive. I wonder if he spawns these infinitely or if I can just get rid of all his minions and then focus him. Because the minions are kind of controlling my movement a little bit. No, I think they're spawning if- Oh, they're coming out of those holes, aren't they? That's their spawn points! Oh my goodness, okay. But yeah, fire is not the answer for dealing with the big guy. I think we gotta slash him. Shoot. How do I achieve that kind of positioning? Hmm. Where is he? Okay, I killed two. Yeah, see, well, actually, they're not necessarily coming out of the holes. Maybe I should move up right now, right? I can't hurt him! He's immune to my sword! Okay. I think- I think we need to make him burrow up into the fire. I don't know what else could be done. Okay, now he's gonna come up. The fact that he's exactly four health, I wonder if he's gonna destroy one of these flames every time we kill him, which would make the fight harder. <laughs> Wait, I've got him right where I want him. Yes! He took damage! And as I thought, he destroyed the fire, which is gonna make it harder for me to kill the minions. No, dude. This could be bad, actually. Where is he? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! He, has, he took two damage, he took two damage. Okay, okay, okay. Or ra rather, um, he, he took- he's down to two health. Oh gosh, okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. He's gonna come up. Is he right where I want him? He is. I mean, it's perfectly spaced, actually, which is convenient. Bro, Bozzies, let's go! Bro Bozzies, bro Bozzies, broest of the Bozzies, never getting them. Dang, that was looking scary, but we actually beat him first try. Bro Bozzies, easy peasy lemon squeeze. That was the fastest boss kill. Let's go. Woo! Nice job. I actually did it. Really can't believe it. From here on, there will be many such monsters. Let's beat them and enter the deepest depths. I hope not all monsters so disgusting. Gross. I don't want to suddenly scream again in the future. Although nobody- Although nobody heard it, it's still shameful. Better hurry up and go into the forest now. Dang. <sighs> but yeah, I guess- I guess the earthworms are coming out of those holes. I don't know what other purpose they would have, man. Going through the effort to- I remember- Shh! I remember something I have once seen in pop science. Earthworms have many hearts. Wait. So earthworms have a tenacious life force. Why are you telling me this? Is it still alive? So far so good. Don't startle me. Are you saying that thing's gonna come back to life? <sighs> come on. Is this the earthworm's tail? What do I do now? We have no- Fire. Quit startling me. I'm going to suffocate. Should I hightail it now? What do I do? It's following me. We can't fight that thing, I'm pretty sure. We need to get around it. It's going in a straight line. Uh... I thought I could attack it! <laughs> I 
Honestly, I'm surprised it didn't start me at the very beginning of the room. It actually just started me in the boss fight. That's an improvement, honestly. <laughs> See, you, so I guess that's why the character said, should I hightail it now? The game's telling you, run. Should I hightail it now? Yeah, run. What do I do? If I try to move forward, he'll cut me off, won't he? Yeah, I can't. If I try to go to the right, he will go down. He'll be in my face. This doesn't seem like the answer, though. Wait! I can burn him! I can burn him! I can burn him! Oh, thank goodness. This time it should be totally dead, right? Don't give me any more big surprises. Of course, we had to lure him to a fire, derp. I got it, I got it, I got it. Whew. Okay, okay. Don't come back to life, please. I ain't walking into you, I ain't risking it. We're leaving. <laughs> we are leaving. Bye-bye. We're out of here. Let's go. And start my own adventure. To be honest, I'm rather excited. There may still be a glimmer of hope in moving onward. No, no, no. What am I thinking? Let's welcome the end full of smiles. <sighs> what a silly thing I just said. I probably read myself silly with fantasy novels. Let's go and leave this asymmetrical village. Hey, don't give up hope. You got a chance. You could be the hero. Alright, we're moving on. Walked a long way. Deep into the forest. The entrance is just ahead. And this is where we started the game. Exhausted physically and mentally. Mouth dry. I can't do it anymore. It'll be dawn soon. Let's find somewhere to rest. This place should be safe. Then let's just rest here. <coughs> wow, that's a death animation. <laughs> Let me just fall asleep here. And then that's where we woke up when we started the game. So now we've seen the entirety of Ed's backstory. I see. I feel that. Aw. <laughs> Deadly asleep. Ah. I had a long nightmare. Oh, so it was a nightmare. Dreamt about when the village was invaded by monsters yesterday. I think we're back to present time. In the end, only I miraculously survived. Having escaped, I had nowhere to go. I ultimately chose to go to the capital and take a look. Wherever I go is a dead end anyway. It might be much better to die with dignity during the adventure. Starving or drinking contaminated water and being poisoned to death and such, dying in such a way is shameful indeed. So I gathered the courage to come here. I guess it wasn't my time yet. I actually made it so far already and saved Coco too. In the end it was not for nothing, but can I still keep going? I don't have solid steel armor and iron shield and no outstanding weaponry either. Well, you got a foul shoot now. At least it's not a logging machete. Thank you, Ramon. Sooner or later, I'll fall halfway into the journey. I can't let that fellow continue to follow me. And following me onward, there is no way to survive. The person he wants to search for is already dead, for sure. It really doesn't make sense to keep going on. I'm just a useless novelist. But Coco is a professional technician. At present, West City is still an ordinary... At present, West City is still an orderly city. If he stayed in West City, he would be pretty well off. This world needs someone like him. If I can persuade him to fix the balloon, he would probably go back to West City, right? Coco should survive. I shouldn't take him with me to die. You know he's not going to agree to this, and don't sell yourself short. You've done a pretty good job surviving this far. But I feel you. You care about him. Let's talk to the fellow. Hold on. Shouldn't I be in the sleeping bag? Why is the sleeping bag so warm? What? Wait, what's going on? Wait, where's the tree sp- Oh! <gasps> he put you in the tent! And put himself in the sleeping bag. Oh, <laughs> That's so sweet. Remember, like, we were telling him that he should stay in the tent because it's warmer. And that I would go in the sleeping bag. He moved me into the tent while I was asleep, and then he himself slept in the sleeping bag. Oh, that's so selfless and kind of him. Didn't I say that you sleep in the tent? Honestly, I thought that the forest daddy, like, went in my sleeping bag with me or something. <laughs> I don't know how we would fit together. But 
but he can make it fit. Didn't I say that you sleep in the tent? Why did you quietly switch places with me? And when you carried me into the tent, it's not shake as I'm shake. <laughs> No, it's not plush. You have four studies. <laughs> and when you carried me into the tent, did you throw me on the ground? Oh, why does my butt hurt so much? How did you not wake up from that? You must be exhausted. Oh, and I, now you're going to put him in the tent. Sleep well. Don't catch a cold now. <laughs> Let's talk to him in the daytime. What should I do now? Save first? Yeah. Okay. Clean tent. Walk around some more. I saw something in the trailer that suggests I should be able to do something in this tent, but I guess that's later. Is Coco a guy? I'm pretty sure yes. Oh, hey, there's the tree spirit. Bath time. Empty pot. Sandbag loading place. Is it the big one? Here's a map. We came from the sad forest. Yeah, apparently that left area, I didn't realize it's called the sad forest. The mushroom forest is called the fallen forest. And now we're going to the great gold mine. Why is it called the sad forest? It seems like a pretty chill place compared to everything else we've been to. Big backpack. Sup, daddy. Thank you for keeping watch for us. Hey, don't wake up Coco. Don't wake up Coco with all that noise. <laughs> he did a softer roar. Don't you need to rest at night? Can't understand a thing. <laughs> I guess he understands me. Temporary graves piled up with sand. Well, let's see what happens if I try to go. No time to set off yet. Okay. <laughs> I guess that works too. Can I talk to you again? You must know the forest like the back of your hand, right? Are there any shortcuts in this forest? Is there a shortcut to the adventurer village? Take me there? We did just save. So if this is a mistake, we could just load. Why would I want to go back? This seems like a terrible idea. Take me there, okay? So that's how it is. I'd like to take a trip back to my village again. Those mutant insects have already dispersed, haven't they? There shouldn't be any problems. Sorry, could you please take me there? Really? Nothing will happen. Look at this Golden Knight's medal. Oh, this is relevant? I took it from the place of a powerful monster. This is enough proof that I can protect myself, right? <sighs> the monsters are sleeping now, too. Coco won't be in danger for now. Then let's set off now, and then hurry back before sunrise. Dang, this is a thing? Whoa, I think we found a secret. I think that was the secret. Oh my goodness. The area ahead seems to be occupied by mutant insects. Those pesky insects are really disgusting. I can only force my way through now. The village is not far from here. But what's ahead may be very dangerous. Losing my life over this matter would be losing sight of what's important. If it doesn't really work, I can turn around. No, we're committed. I'd better look at the situation first. You, big guy, listen. No matter what happens, you do not go in and help me. I don't want you to get hurt for my sake. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Aw. Well, we have a better sword now, for what that's worth. <laughs> Maybe we can actually hurt the beetles this time? Remember, we couldn't do any damage to the beetles. Maybe my sword was too weak. There are probably gonna be secrets in this area. We had to use the metal to get here. So I'm inclined to believe that we're gonna get some other secret here. Whoa. Goodness. They've evolved. They were just little red walkie bugs. And now they have wings. Oh my goodness. They're a little cute in a way, though, not gonna lie. These mutant insects are different from the ones I saw in the village. They have sturdy beetle shells protecting them. But we have a better sword, right? So can we pierce it? We'll have to fight. What does that mean? 
What are they about to do? Oh. They take two hits! Shoot. Wait, so... When they make that pose, I keep thinking it means they're about to attack. That's not what it means. It means they're cooling down, if anything. Basically cornering myself, aren't I? Shoot. Did I already mess up this room? If I will they mm, this might be a mistake. It is a mistake. Ah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. How did we do it the first time? I got scared because I thought they were going to lunge me, and then I went back, I was like, what? And then I went back... Wait. No, wait. No, what? No, I mean, you gotta attack when they're guarding, that's what it is. I could chip one, actually, and then move. Now move. I think this is the trick. Okay, and move up. Ship him. I could actually hit him again. I would ship one. Move up. Finish him. Move up. Ship him. I can actually finish. Ship him. Move up. Finish him, move down, and finish. Got it! Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. It's a little bit different. They just have armor, that's, that's all. There's small bees in the corner. Huh. Whoa, what's that? I can't hit that thing. Okay, I see. Alright, well, let's not get hit by those spear boys. They look a bit problematic. Is that it? I guess that's just a new mechanic. We just have to make sure we're not in line with these flying spear boys. Otherwise, I'm going to get impaled. And we all know I do not want to be impaled, so don't let that happen. Okay. Well, it's not really that scary when we're down here, but if we get closer to the top, it could be a little bit more intimidating. Okay. What just happened? Wait, what just happened? Did I just... Did I get transferred? Oh no, I'm becoming a Biku. I think that thing in the top middle was a secret I just interacted with. Oh, and I just actually transferred into a bee thing. Oh no, this actually ended up happening. No, I didn't get good. I got good. <laughs> Dang it. No, don't do it, it's a bad. Don't oh, 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 being a bug. We went through all this trouble to get here. Not so I can touch a coo and turn into a bug. Oh no, at least you can fly. Dang. Realistically speaking, that's such a terrible wait, I wait, I start all the way back here? It is definitely like one of those general sequences then. Alright, alright, alright. Wait! There was a Bigu there. I see it. Do you see it? I didn't see the small bee there. I think it intercepted me. Yeah, it landed on me there and I didn't even notice. It was these things. That's what happens when you die to them. Oh. Yeah, it was a little bee. I didn't see the little bee. This is quite the demo, yeah. I thought it was because I I walked into this egg at the top. And maybe there was something special about it. But no, it's the little bees that transfer you like that. Okay. 
this is kind of a scary spot to be in for these spear boys. Maybe I should actually bait an attack first. Yeah. Next puzzle. Okay. This doesn't look too bad on the surface, but I'm sure there's more to it. Wait, those geo things. I see them in the corner. Those little pillars. All right, careful, careful. Huh. That's an easy kill. Oh, we have to deal with the spear boys at the same time. That's a little bit of a problem. This is the right way. <laughs> Gotta go down. I have no choice. Ooh. Did I corner myself? I think I cornered myself. Shoot. No. Maybe not? Try, to fun try the funnel strat. No, I'm dead here. Dang it! <laughs> oh. The obvious answer is not the correct one. If you try that, you will get cornered and you get stuck. That's not the answer. Maybe instead of going down the middle, let's try to hug the left. This is good. I can kill this bee, though. Kill this guy next. Okay. Kill this bee. I can kill this guy. Alright, this is looking pretty promising. Alright, we cleared the room. Of course, just watch out for the spear boys, but otherwise we got this. By the way, I just realized something. So wait, bees... It was just mosquitoes before, right? Well, and beetles and earthworms. So basically, the bees weren't involved. The bees are new. So, the mosquitoes took over first. And then now, like, the mutant mosquitoes. And now the mutant bees have taken over, too. Oh, gosh. That's the boss. All right. Every time we die to this, chat, we have to redo these rooms. Which is going to suck. At least getting back looks like it'll be really easy. I mean, there's nothing in my way. So I don't think we need to worry about the return trip. We just gotta worry about beating this guy. All right. No wonder there's so many mutant insects here. Just come at me, I guess. <laughs> you are the queen of the swarm, hmm? Can really only one of us live? Why can't you just let me through? Wait, we're trying to go past you. It's not a dead end. What's beyond you? Must violence really be used to settle this? I mean, it's a mutant bug. You're trying to negotiate with some kind of evil mutant bug. Good luck with that. Yeah, okay. The queen of insects. I didn't expect it to have like a woo furry face, but okay, and like neck floof. Seven life. How do you think we hurt this person? Direct attack or... I mean, there's no fire. Yeah, I guess we just strike them directly. Oh goodness, that's a lot of soldiers. Wait, did it just back up, or did it get out of the way of its... Which tile is it on? I can't tell. Did I do damage? I did. Alright, now it's running away. So we need to use its minions. We need to use its minions to help us sync up with it. I'm actually synced up right now, so I don't think I should hit this bug. Wait, what's with those soldiers? They're new. Shoot, let's, let's kill this. I'm a little scared of these guys. They die in one hit. These are weaker? That's surprising. They die in one hit, yeah. They're like shrubs, basically. They're like the red bugs. Uh, I don't know. Should we try to hit them? Yeah, yeah, you can even hit them when they're not guarding, and it's a one-tap. I 
I'm, I, I'm not sure what to do here. Right now, me and the boss are in sync. If I kill this bug, is the boss gonna move immediately or is the boss gonna wait a turn then move? Let's assume that right when I kill this bug, the boss is gonna move. So it's gonna be on the uh, darker tile, in which case we want to kill on a light tile. That was a wrong assumption. I was wrong. I was wrong. Wait, the boss isn't moving. At all. What? What do I do? Maybe I can walk into it and hit it? Or will I die? Oh! It doesn't attack! It's helpless! That's unusual. Oh, jeez. This boss is actually helpless. I... This might actually be an easy boss. What the heck? Well, hold on. It's probably gonna get progressively more difficult. I don't know. It seems like it's charging me now. Let's let's not let our guard down. Right now, I'm where I need to be to hit it. Let's be careful. If I hit this, I will be out of sync, I believe. I'm afraid the boss... I, I can't tell if it can attack or if it can't. If I kill this bug, I'm going to be out of sync with the boss and it'll- and I won't be able to kill- it'll kill me if- if it is capable of attacking. <sighs> but if I stall for too long, I'm going to be in trouble. Let's, let's stall a little bit longer. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh no. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen! It can attack you! I better find the right time to make the flying insects get stuck in the branches. What? Make the flying insects get stuck in the branches? Is that something that happened that I didn't even notice? Alright. exactly where I want to be. Oh my goodness. It's a big army. Got him. Oh! When she takes a hit, the flying ones come down immediately. Okay, but they're not that bad. I forgot, they only take one hit, so I can literally kill two right here. They're like the shrubs. Okay, so it's just to handle these guys a bit more easily. That's not really a big deal, to be honest. And for some reason here, she's helpless, which I don't understand. She just is. Alright. I'm already in sync with her. No, I'm not. What the heck? Why did I think I was? Now I am. Shoot. Whoa. There we go. Okay. So what happens to these bugs now that they're over there? I guess they're just helpless? I don't think they can really do anything. I guess that's the equivalent of them being stuck, yeah. She calls them down, but if they're not in a good position, they can't do anything. Okay, I think I understand now. You can probably just ignore them. Oh, and then now she loosened them up, and now they're charging again. Uh, I don't really want to be up here. I feel like there's going to be a lot more of them as she gets to low HP. I don't want to be up top. Just seems like a bad idea. <sighs> Let me have my hit. You know, it's fine. There's gonna be a lot of enemies on the ground, but they're not too bad. I'll strike you here. As long as you're sitting in the corner, you're the only really thing I fear. Like, the boss itself. <sighs> Shoot. Well, <laughs> It's okay, slaughter them. We can take them. I can handle this army. 
Okay. We only need to leave one alive. One is all I need to get in sync with the boss. Okay. Alright, how are we doing now? Actually, I, I don't think the boss is... I think the boss is stuck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the boss is stuck right now. Alright, kill all of them. Never fought a boss that did this. This is weird. Wait. I done goofed, didn't I? Oh wait, thank goodness. I think we're... we're I think I can hit you. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I was afraid that I was going to have to leave one alive. <laughs> that I messed up by not sparing an enemy. Wait, what? You're just a regular red bug in the queen bee suit? What? <laughs> okay. Did I completely finish it off? Its shell burst open. What is that lump thing? Is that a bug butt or something? <laughs> Collect the butt. Oh, shoot. Watch out. Is only this now the main body of the mutant insect queen? That just now was just some poor parasitized bug. Is this dangerous? This is already the second time. I hate bug tails. Oh no, I'm gonna have to fight this thing. Why can you still be active without your body? Do insects all have their hearts in their butts? <laughs> well, some do say that the quickest way to a dragon's heart is through their butt. Just come on! Huh. Okay. No, it's not a Seiko! <laughs> Fight for your con, I'm not a queen! Hmm. Can I just hit you? We're out of sync now, what do I do? Chad, I don't know what to do here. Wait, I think I can strike the exit to waste a turn. Wait, we're in sync now. We're in sync, we're in sync. Not anymore. Ah. Dude, holy crap. You can just do this forever? Kill that thing! It's laying eggs onto its eggs! Come on, walk to me, you sucky. We are where we want to be. Of course, it laid an egg. I don't know what to do other than just kill off its spawn. I'm actually where I want to be. Dang it! We're cornered right now. We do not want to be here. Get up. Okay. This is getting a little out of hand, dude. Move up to me. Yes! Strike, right? Perfect! Alright. Strike again. I'm out of sync, but it's gonna lay eggs, right? So it's fine. Nice, that's another hit. Okay. Just gotta hit one more time, one more time. Okay, how about here? Uh-huh. Okay. We're almost there, dude, almost there. One more health. I don't like my positioning right now. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. It was tempting to strike, but we need to just get out of this corner. It's a bad corner. Look how many bees there are, dude! I need to kill that thing, man! Yes! Holy crap! That was starting to get a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> oh, it's finally over.
Really tiresome. Dang, dude, that was crazy. <sighs> Let's go on ahead and return to finish that thing. Yeah. What am I actually doing? Leaving Coco Bind to run over here. Put the tree spirit in danger, too. I could have even died myself. I really am so selfish. Honestly, I don't know what you're doing. Like, why? You need some kind of closure? Is that why you're here? That was long, dude. I don't want to have to redo that. Give me my reward, and let's go home. I still don't even know why we came here. What am I hoping to find? <gasps> my home! It's still surprisingly intact. I'm back again. My little cabin. And not one person left in the village. Why did we come back home? Everything at all has been destroyed. Why was only I left alone? The mutant insects seem to be unwilling to approach my cabin. Didn't you say you sprinkled sulfur all over your garden? But I can't ask them why. Is this fate deciding that I should live on? I still couldn't put down these manuscripts after all. When it happened, I was in such a rush, I didn't take it. Everything happened too suddenly. Oh, we're gonna take our manuscript for our novel with us. This is the autobiography I wrote after moving to the countryside. It's a novel I wrote for myself. And there are the newspaper clippings with all my other works too. If I die on the road of the adventure ahead, this autobiography will become the proof of my existence. I must finish this book before daybreak. Wow, that's not what I thought I was gonna take with me, but I guess it makes sense. This little thing is even more important than living. This is my life story, my mission, and also my purpose. I don't wanna have any regrets left when I die. Why didn't you bring the book with you back then? I'm aware it sounds a bit paranoid, but I really can't put down my creation. These are stories that only belong to me. This is also the sole comfort in my life. It is full of my fantasy on the inside. In novels, there are worlds that are fair to people. In novels, there is kindness that does not exist in reality. Oh, that's so sad. In novels, people can succeed if they're willing to work hard. And all those are things that I never had. Oh, no. That's so sad, dude. I feel for Ed. That's so, so sad. He can't experience kindness and fairness and success from hard work in the real world, so he just creates stories where things are fair, where people are kind, where you can succeed if you work hard enough. Because reality, real life is just not nearly as fair. Poor thing. That's so sad, man. I really feel for Dragon Snow. But, you know, I beg to differ. There are a lot of nasty people in the world, and there is a lot of unfairness, that is true. But there are also kind people. There are fair people. And there absolutely can be success if you work hard enough. There absolutely can be. But I can have everything in a novel. Through my stories, I can live on. These stories are greater than anything in my life. I don't want to put this down no matter what. I respect it, all right. Oh, you're gonna type it right now! <laughs> oh, man, he's going fast. Yeah, the poor old mask on the wall. Give me a little more time. I'll staple these together and use this iron-plated cover. Holy moly. Quite rushed, but it's finished. You finished your novel, your autobiography. It's done. Yo, congrats. Though, honestly, I think your most, most epic story has just begun, my friend. We're just in the middle of it. It's a shame that's not going to go in the book, but that's all right. They'll tell the tales once we defeat the beast. And finally, I have my own autobiography. I'm leaving something behind for this world. This way, I will truly have no regrets. And I can say that I haven't lived this life in vain. Dang. I should go back to where the big tree spirit guy is. I'm not in control. He's doing that on his own. I have already said goodbye before. Farewell forever. Dang. My home. Aw. Goodbye, home. Goodbye, poor old painting. <laughs> no more. We did it. We beat the third secret and we got our third major trophy. 